Hello everyone and welcome into another Joint Movement DPT's video. Today Morning. we are in Tucson, Arizona and... Tucson, Ryan. <laughs> no, Tucson. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be doing a few different things. We're going to be seeing going to Tombstone, yep. which is a little western town. Oh, going to die, going to die. Scoot over. And then we're going <laughs> to go over to the Saguaro National Park to see some very big tall cacti. Saguaro. No, saguaro. Saguaro. There's a lot of pronunciations <laughs> we're learning here, but saguaro. So it's saguaro. join us. <laughs> place called Barista Del Barrio. They're known for their breakfast burritos and their coffee. So we've heard from our little tour guide that this is a place to get breakfast so we're gonna get some burritos, maybe a peanut butter latte, and we're gonna roll out. <laughs> okay guys well Parking fiasco number two, two weekends in a row. <laughs> yeah. We we parked in a parking lot that we weren't supposed to and at a loading zone, so. Uh, if you learn anything from us. Don't do we'll what we do. We'll teach you not to park. Um, so right now the owner of the shop has parked us in and is unwilling to move her vehicle until she's done with her daily work, so. Cheers. Right now it's, we just got done with breakfast and it's 11 o'clock. We might be here for a while. Let's tan. But we are in the wrong. We <laughs> know that. We're sorry. <laughs> but uh, we're paying the price, I guess, now. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we're back in the car. We made it. We finally got, got <laughs> Evan and Leah's vehicle back. <laughs> we the, were being held hostage. The owners made their point. Yeah, we waited they... there for a little while and uh, Okay, we understand. We're horrible people. <laughs> they were okay, we get it. I'm sure they've had issues with that before. It is the weekend. We weren't quite sure that the signs were all seven days of the week, but they are. Know. The lesson to learn from this is never make a mistake in your life. Because <laughs> then you're a horrible Especially person. Especially with parking. <laughs> Welcome to Tombstone, Arizona in the Wild West. Yeah, this is neat. This it is neat. really feels like we just stepped into a western. It does. It's and it's different. It's a different feel than Oatman. I yeah. Think, a little I more think touristy, I think. Oatman's a little more authentic and rundown. <laughs> this is definitely they capitalize on the tourism and it's really cute. A little more preserved. They little closed preserved, off. Yeah. They closed off the main street here, so you can you're free to walk on it, and it's like the old. Uh, Dirt. kind of dirt and gravelly road and they have little stage coaches coming by and people in old time wear yeah. western wear is really cool and then I'm sure we'll get to see get a run over by horses oh, too. and I'm sure we'll get to see a, a fake gunfight too they usually have those at these types of places but really really cute truly the Wild West so the store was like really great and then we went to the back and I got these like creepy dolls they're collectors. Collectors of evil. That's what I'm talking about. I was trying to find the closest saloon. That's where I like to reside. Reminds us of our time when we toured that Montana state Montana prison. Montana state prison. Because they have these like fake dummies yes. in the cells and they would freak you out. I don't know where you buy these, probably Amazon. 
Saguaros. <laughs> so we're out here at the Saguaro National Park and doing this beautiful eight mile loop drive. A lot of beautiful cacti. Look at all those saguaros. <laughs> and they're a lot bigger than I would have expected. There's two sides of the park. There's an east and a west side. We did not realize that. And so um, they're actually separate. And right now we are in the east park. <laughs> Megan's shaking her head no. <laughs> but we're in the east park. The winter time right now, we're, it's January. And it's like the perfect time to come out here because um, we're, it's like jacket weather, sweater weather. It's called a monster. But look how pretty it is. Pretty? Did you guys see that Gila monster? Man, if I'm about to step on one of those, I'm hightailing it back okay, to the car. Okay, is it Gila or Gila, like quesadilla? Gila. Gila. Yes, I was right. Oh, and uh, here's my La La Land impression. And everybody tells you not to step into a cactus. Well, I must have got too close to a cactus because <laughs> <laughs> I got little bitty needles all in my leg. These cacti can live up to 100 to 200 years old, which is really crazy. And we see a lot of them here, especially now that we're in the West Park, it's a lot more dense, um, which we really enjoy. It's raining outside, so we're doing a little car tour, um, but the, it's a lot more dense than it was the other day when we were in the East Park. And it's, it's crazy to think how big these things are, how long they've been here, they say a lot of them have been here longer than Arizona has been a state. So a lot of times when we come to a national park, we try to stop by the visitor center to learn some of the best hiking trails and different information about the park. But we also go through the re religious process of picking out which sticker we want. And then we end up putting all of our national park stickers on our Yeti cooler, which we use when we go camping a lot. Um, so it's kind of a fun thing to look back on and see where we've been to. My favorite cacti is either this one, because it's lumpy and petting it, or what's that other one? The one that looks cute. It's kind of fluffy with needles. I'll show you this next clip. Yeah, it's real cute. I think that one's my favorite. This is my favorite cactus. It's called the teddy bear. I haven't touched it yet. Ow! This one's pretty pokey. Megan has to touch 
every cacti that we pass. She's like very um, a hands-on learner, we'll say. <laughs> Valley View Trail um, here in the West Saguaro National Park. This is one of the top hikes that they were telling us about and I would say it's pretty good. It's pretty short. What yep. was it like 0.8 miles? Mm -hmm. And you get up here and you do get a view of the valley floor and all the cacti down that way. Um, and then you can see off in the distance some of the mountain ranges. And for us, we can see a little bit of a rainstorm coming in. Yeah. Kind of crazy. It's so pretty. Uh, getting a little rain here in the desert. We even saw a little dust tornado, which is cool. Yeah. I liked that. Yeah, a little dust tornado. It was neat to see. So a good little place to come up, pack a lunch, eat, um, and just kind of hang out and enjoy the view. I mean, you wouldn't think you'd get views in the desert, but this is a good one. So make sure to check it out if you're here at this national park. It's a place, it's a feeling that's all mine. For so many years, I wish to be here. I wasn't aware that I was so 